Hi folks, before we launch into today's video, this is coming out on the week that we experienced such a heinous terror attack in our community. And I want to offer my prayers and condolences for the folks in Orlando. And I know I have a pretty big community here from Orlando who watches. And I just want you to know that I, along with everybody here, send out our thoughts, our prayers, our love to you. Uh, we are truly united in solidarity when it comes to freedom and peace and this goes to Orlando or any other place that has been impacted by terror. We are here and we continue to pray for you and I just wanted you to know that before I went into my tutorial today. Okay, so today's video is uh, a hair tutorial, a highly requested one. Uh, this is a pixie bob blowout, but there's more to it than that. I'm going to show you four different ways to style this short haircut. So for those of you who have always been intimidated by short hair, thinking you are locked into a look and that's it, I'm here to show you that you have options. So I have put nothing in my hair, freshly washed. I used Living Proof's frizz line because yes, I have very frizzy hair. Um, I am going to now add my got to be Fantastic mousse. I'm going to apply just a tiny bit. I don't need much because I don't have a lot of hair. And this is going mainly in the crown and toward my part line, which hits right about there to the side. And I'm just going to work that back. And I am also going to add to it Living Proof's Perfect Hair Day. Uh, just the right mix of goodies to make my hair nice and smooth and manageable. And that's mainly going right here, just on the ends. Okay, I'm gonna grab a towel, get the product out. The next couple of things that you will need are a high-powered hair dryer. I'm a huge fan of the Elchin line. I've had this one forever. I don't think it really matters what model you get. The key is high heat and high speed. The next thing that you will need, a series of hair brushes. Uh, we all have different hair types. Mine is wavy, kinky, curly, so I need bristles that are tight and compact to be able to pull out my curl. And I have various sizes here, depending on what section of my hair that I'm working on. I have two different teasing brushes, one comb, one tightly packed bristle brush that I will be using. I have a Hot Tools curling iron. Barrel is about one and one quarter inch, and I have it set on a medium high heat. And I also have a flat iron plugged in. This is one by Cloud9, again on a medium to high heat. So the first thing I'm going to do is blow dry my hair and just show you what a simple blow dry looks like. Starting from the back to the front first. Right now I'm just getting the dampness out and I'll work on straightening later. I also lift at the root to start to get a little bit of volume toward the back, but mainly just pushing forward at this point. Getting it a little bit drier at the root and still a little wet at the ends because I need to straighten these. This is about that time when I will stop because I don't want too much curl to come in. I've got to fight and get that straight. Um, and I will start with my front section, this is where I curl the most. This is what I want to tame the most. So I'll use a larger brush here and I will start pulling my hair through. You can section it off if you need to, but I just tend to grab sections with my brush. Saves a little bit of time that way. And I am pulling forward and up repetitively to get it straight. And then all the way through. I wear my hair parted on my left side. So I'm working my way over to that part line, but it's really not a hard line. It floats a little bit. So that's why I don't blow dry necessarily on a hard part. I'm just sort of in the vicinity. Cause I may play around with that and you'll see. This 
haircut is called a pixie bob because as you'll see as I'm blow drying, it still has a bit of a bob shape to it with length here and length here, but it's very, very tightly stacked up high with a lot of layers, giving it more of that pixie motif. And I'll show all angles so you can see. Again, just pulling up at the root. I want volume at the crown, but I want nice straight ends. So I pull through. Instead of just release, if I were just to release the brush here, then the bend of the hair would remain and it would have more of a swoop to it. I'm pulling my ends through to get a straight, more of a PC look going. My sides will go back. I alternate back and then down. Back and down. What I love about these products, and you'll notice if you've been with me for a while, I haven't deviated. And there's a reason why. It's not that I haven't tried anything new. I have. I've played around and experimented. I just cannot seem to find another mousse that gives my hair volume without making it feel sticky and weighed down. You guys know that I like to go quite a few days in between washing and other products make me wash every day, every other day, but not this one. I feel like my hair is not dirty, but it gives me the lift that I want. So I'm product loyal. Getting there. Again, I'm just going up and in the back, up and back, up and back. Same here for the sides, it's going to be an alternating down and then back, down and back. And I'm doing that because I don't want it to have a rounded down look. I want it to swoop a little bit. This blow dry will be quick, I promise. Now I'm just getting the back pieces just to go straight back. I'll turn around in just a second. And you've noticed that I've stayed with the big brush all the way through. I didn't need to go to a smaller one. Again, because my primary purpose here is to straighten. And the larger the brush, the more effective. Almost there. Okay. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back and see what I'm doing. So I'm taking a section, I'm lifting and then pulling back. You see the movement and the layers. Okay. Okay, that's pretty doggone good. So we've got a dry 
head of hair. This is what my hair looks like before I have started to do anything with it and put it into a style. So today I've thought about these different looks that I'm going to create for you and funny enough I've kind of come up with silly names <laughs> because they just, I don't know, every, when I do these looks it reminds me of somebody so that's how that happens. So the first look I'm going to call the Bieber because when Justin Bieber had shaggy hair he wore his hair like this. It was very forward and very PC. So it just reminds me of the Biebs. So that's gonna be look one. And in order to achieve that, I need now the hair dryer and my Living Proof amp. So what I'm going to do is take my dryer now that it's dry and I'm gonna push everything forward. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? It's a cool button. Again, pushing everything forward. Okay, now that I'm cool, one thing I forgot to grab is my hairspray. I will need that, and I'm sure it will be no surprise as to what is coming out of the vault. Yes, again, Kenra Volume 25. Still the best in my book. Okay, so now that I have pushed everything forward, the next thing I'm going to do is take my living proof. I'm going to grab about, I don't know, yay much? Looks like two peas. I don't know why we say pea size. We're obsessed with peas. Two peas, two peas in a pod. I'm gonna rub it through. I'm going to then tip my hair upside down and I will grab at the, almost at the root. You don't want it to touch your scalp, but close to the root and pull forward, okay? Oh, my flat iron's beeping at me, hold on. And just power it off and on. Okay, so here we go. I will pull at the root and lift. And I'm pulling it through my ends as well because it's gonna give it a bit of a spiky look when it reaches the ends, more of a pieciness. And at the same time, we are creating lift. Okay, all the way through. shake it through at the ends all right and I'm gonna sit back down and now is when you <laughs> not what I'm going for so now what you do is you take your fingers and this is when you use your hands to get everything where you want it I prefer no part line if at all possible and you can use your smaller layers here to cover that also since I'm gonna have a lot of hair swooping forward here I prefer to tuck it back here just so that one side of the face is clearly visible while the other will be covered with a shag. And then all you do is just take your hair and piece it where you want it. And I like, see the top layers up here are shorter. They give a little bit of lift. And so I am just pulling everything forward and I am literally just about done. You can, you can do a little side sweep here in the front. You can shag it all forward. Just depends on what you want to create. That's up to you. I'm going to pull everything forward. And then when you're happy with what you got, just kick it with your Kenra. Again, I'm just pulling at my crown because I like the height up here and then flatter up front. Take these little pieces and just kind of grab onto those, twist them if you want, and just hit them with hairspray. And that's about it. I'm going to turn around to make sure the back is cool and kosher so you can see what's happening. But again, it's all sort of going back in this direction. Very, very PC, very forward moving. This side especially. So this is the side that comes forward on the face and this is the side that goes back. But there you go. That's sort of the beeves 
And, uh, and that took, what, all of two minutes maybe? Nothing. Okay, so the next look I'm going to call The Boyfriend. You'll see why in a second. But it, it's a look that we ladies get when we wear our hair back in a ponytail. Um, but when you have hair this short, there's no ponytail. But it still creates the same effect and it has a very boyish look to it. So from here, very simple. You can take a brush to flatten it out. And again, it all depends on where you want to part it. If I go this route, I will take not a deep side part, but medium. And I will just take it and slick it back. And then I will take these front pieces and just go straight to the side. And now I am tucking back and pulling down. And just bringing it nice and tight back behind my ear. I like to have just a little bit of pop again right here in the back, but this is a very smooth and sophisticated look. Um, this is great, by the way, if you have short hair and you want to have an evening look, because this is exactly what we do when we pull our hair back, except we have an attachment back there or a ponytail, but in this case, it's just your own hair and you can just take those pieces and pull them forward. That's it. Pop that, if need be, just secure it with hairspray to make sure everything stays where it needs to. Come down any flyaways. By the way, this brush is great for taming flyaways. You can just hit it with hairspray and then just lightly sweep it across the top and that'll get rid of any little flyaway that you might have. And there you go. Now it's the boyfriend look. This looks really, really fun if you're doing just jeans and a t-shirt or like I said in the evening, if you want more of an elegant look um, with a dress, with either a high neckline, low neckline, with lots of jewelry. This really just accentuates your face and your neckline. Oh, and here's the back, by the way. So the back is just very smooth, sleek. Just take your fingers, piece it together. Make sure you have no holes or gaps in the back and just slick it straight down. So there you go, the boyfriend, and again, all of a minute. Okay, so the next look that we're going to move on to, I call more of the Grace Kelly. It is an off the face look, but instead of a flat and a part, we're going to get some lift and volume right up here at the front section of the hair. And to do that, I'm going to take my hair dryer again, and I will take this round brush, and I'm going to grab these front hairs, just section them off, and I'm going to work now on getting some lift right here. Hold it there. Reverse, let it cool. I'm going to do the same now to the section behind it. Again, now I'm going for more lift and volume up front. Now I'm going to take these sections and I'm going to tease. You can use either the thicker comb, which works better for me in the back section, and then I use a thin comb for the front just to really get some height going. Okay, and at this point now, you're just taking your fingers and you are very loosely and gently separating but not getting rid of all that tease because you want that in there. You still want your hair to be able to go back. If you pull too much of it out, it's just gonna to start to lay flat again. And this again, a very elegant look for evening, going out to dinner, cocktail dress, sundress, just pull it back 
And as you get things where you like it, just hit it with hairspray. Spray as you go. There we go, we're getting there. And you can do it either tight with some height or you can loosen it up a little bit. Keep it tight down here, but have just a little bit more looseness in here. Makes it a little bit softer, a little more feminine. And again, get it back. Spray as you go. This is not supposed to be a perfect look. You don't want everything looking just right. You want it looking like it was finger combed and uh, very artistic, not just slicked. And the height that you choose is up to you. Some people may want to have more volume than others up front. Some may want to have a little piece coming down for softness. It just depends on your face, your look, what you like more. But again, there are all kinds of options with this, but the key is just up and back, up front, and the height up here. And again, with the back, we are just pulling it back like so, but in a very, very loose manner. Again, another, another one of my favorite evening looks. Okay, getting the gist of it? Let me turn around. All right. Okay, and last but not least, we have the weekend, which is the looser, more relaxed, little bit of curl. You can let all that stuff come in and have fun with it. Um, if you do have natural curl, let it go. Just, you know, let it air dry a little bit. Um, you can use a curling iron to contain the frizz. Uh, it just depends on how well your hair does on its own when it air dries or blow dries. But I like to modify a little bit with my one and a quarter inch curling iron. So I will take relatively large sections and I'm going to start right here. And I will start curling these sort of forward and back. More emphasis on the root area and not so much on the end. And again, large chunks. Getting some lift on the crown. That's it. And we're just going to keep going back with these. Okay. And this is more of a loose wave that we're creating in my case, not so much a curl. It's sort of similar to that uh, beachy look tutorial that I did not that long ago. Um, but my point in showing this to you is yes, even with a pixie bob, you can have that look too. Like I said, the versatility in this cut comes from the length around the face. If you have very short layers around your face, well, then you're pretty much stuck with a straight look. Um, I just, I like having options. <laughs> I'm just a girl who wants options. <laughs> okay. And then these pieces right here, instead of going back, I kind of do a little bit of a up, up and forward. Just getting more of a bend to these, not so much of a curl. And the sides, I'm gonna kick back and out a little bit. So everything's gonna have sort of a back look going. Same with the back. It gets a little trickier. There's less hair here, but
but it's really more about just creating direction at this point. Just a little bit of bend to get rid of the straightness that we've worked so hard to achieve up to this point. Okay, make sure I've got everything up top. And so at this point, you just take your hands and your hands are your styling friend. Definitely not a brush after you've curled your hair and just shake it. Remember, this is the weekend. This is the time to have fun. The bedhead look works. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, in fact, the messier, the looser, the better. Um, in this case, I push everything up and forward. And I'll scrunch and pull. And that's about it. This look doesn't require a whole lot, which is a good thing. And uh, again, when you like where everything is, just take your favorite hairspray and uh, get it into place. And that's it. I just um, will kick the ends on my wavy hair, not the root because I don't want to weigh this down. So I just want my ends to bind, which will hold everything where I want it. There you go. And it's funny how much longer my hair looks when you do this. And uh, that's the neat thing about this haircut is you really can deceive people with the length, this perceived length, just because of long layers up front. And mind you, it's still, look, still very short and uh, stacked in the back, but it all kind of sweeps forward. So there's the weekend. So there's your tutorial for the day. The Pixie Bob Blowout and four unique styles with one short haircut. I hope this has given you some ideas. I hope if you're a short hair wearer, you don't feel trapped or stuck, but you have options and it's all in here and here and just get busy and play around with it. Comments and suggestions below. I love doing what you need, what you want. I'm here for you. I'm here for you on social media, all these different channels. We communicate there. We have great conversations. And if you are in the area or even out of the area, feel free to watch my newscast here in Houston on KPRC channel two at six and 10. Our station's website, clicktohouston.com streams the newscast live. So you can see me wherever you are. So with your four or different hairdos. Go out there this week. Be bold, be blessed, be a blessing, and I'll see you next time.